Thank you, Thomas. COVID comedy, sci-fi, cop drama, you've got options for what to watch tonight. Our film critic, Tony Toscano, has the reviews. Good morning. Returning for its fourth season on ABC is the cop drama, The Rookie. It stars Nathan Fillion and Richard T. Jones. I don't like you, Officer Nolan. I hate what you represent. A walking midlife crisis. And that will get my people killed. After a life-altering incident, John Nolan is pursuing his dream of joining the LAPD. As their oldest rookie, he's met with skepticism from those who see him as just a walking midlife crisis. I chatted with Richard T. Jones about the series. Nathan, like you said, has so much energy and so much passion. Um, and he just loved, he actually, because we love one another so much on the show, he just loves being there. And he, he, he just so, I, I think we can go on until everybody gets tired. <laughs> Each week, the rookie offers up a nicely woven blend of humor and drama, backed up by solid performances by the cast. Again, The Rookie is airing on ABC TV, and season four kicks off October 16th. It gets a B and is rated TV 14. In theaters, a pair of sisters take off to save grandma in the COVID comedy Stop and Go. It stars Mallory Everton and Whitney Call. Hello, is this Willowbrook Senior Care? Is this the police? Are you coming? Our grandmother is a resident at your facility and... Maybe not anymore. Can we speak to whoever's in charge? COVID-19 is in charge now. We ask ourselves, what can we make right now and actually do with a limited crew, with limited funds, and just kind of stay in here? So we came up with a road trip movie because we <laughs> naively thought making a movie in a car would be easy. We shot it in Whitney's car. And whenever I get back in that car, I always like remember, I just like get transported right back to that headspace of like, it's the pandemic and we're making a movie and we have no idea if someone's going to get sick and whether we're going to finish this thing or not. And, uh, and we're stuck here all the time in this hot, hot car because you can't turn on the AC because then this, it m messes up the sound. I mean, it's like, it's brutal. Filmed in the middle of the pandemic, Stop and Go is a hectic and fast moving comedy with a few good laughs and a good sense of humor about America during the time of COVID. Again, Stop and Go is in selected theaters and gets a B. It's not rated. Hitting Apple TV Plus is the long-awaited TV adaptation of Isaac Asimov's sci-fi masterpiece, Foundation. When I was a child at the edge of the galaxy, I heard stories about a man who could forecast the future. But the story remained dark to me until many years later until it became my story. Some 2,000 years in the future, mankind is now a part of a galactic empire that is slowly but deliberately coming apart. The series stars Jared Harris. David S. Goyer took this book and, and made it palatable for the TV audience. Sure. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's very good at that. He's very, very, very good at world building. He's brilliant at his big ideas. Um, you know, big swings. He, he takes some swings at some huge themes, you know. Uh, yes, and that, that he's, done, he's done that brilliantly. If you're looking for a word-for-word -word adaptation of Asimov's classic work, you won't find it here. What you will find is a well-done attempt to take Asimov's seven-book collection and translate them into a watchable TV series. But like a heavy meal, there's a lot to chew. Overall, the first 10 episodes do improve if you stick with it. Again, Foundation is streaming exclusively on Apple TV Plus and gets a B. It's rated TV 14. For ABC4, I'm film critic Tony Toscano. All right, thank you, Tony. To see the rest of Tony's reviews, just visit his new website, screenchatter.com.